My friend, in the chilling tale of Ted Bundy, the narrative took a startling turn as the infamous serial killer executed a brazen escape from the Utah State Prison. Bundy's disappearance left investigators baffled, highlighting his exceptional intelligence and cunning. The tension mounted as law enforcement agencies launched a relentless manhunt, uncertain of his next move. This audacious escape sent shockwaves through the nation, and the eerie silence that now filled Bundy's empty cell underscored the chilling enigma that surrounded him. As the manhunt intensified, the police delved deeper into the dark secrets of Ted Bundy. The true nature of this notorious killer, shrouded beneath a facade of charm and normalcy, continued to baffle investigators. The enigmatic contrast between Bundy's apparent innocence and his malevolent actions left them perplexed. What lay ahead in the relentless pursuit of this elusive criminal, and how would the nation grapple with the grim revelations to come? The chilling narrative persists, with the hunt for Ted Bundy growing more intense and even more sinister truths poised to emerge. As Ted Bundy's audacious escape sent shockwaves through the nation, chaos and panic gripped the streets. The police who had been guarding Ted in court were left dumbfounded, struggling to comprehend the brilliance and daring nature of his escape. In the immediate aftermath, they hastily initiated a search knowing that with only a five-minute head start, he couldn't have strayed far from the court premises. The courthouse, momentarily emptied of vehicles, was soon flooded with media personnel equipped with antennae-laden vehicles. A journalist named Lucas, positioned at the scene, recounted the escape, emphasizing the lack of police presence and the absence of handcuffs on Ted. This revelation was a devastating blow to the already dismayed police. The escape of the notorious Ted Bundy sent waves of terror through the community. People became fearful of leaving their homes, and the prospect of nighttime slumber became a dreaded ordeal. A state of vigilance was adopted, with individuals taking turns to stay awake as guards, and nights became a time of collective apprehension. Even as days passed, there was no sign of Ted, and the police's exhaustive efforts to search each and every vehicle on the road proved futile. In a historic first, law enforcement successfully seized over 100 kilograms of drugs during their search operations, but Ted remained elusive. Then, on a fateful day, the police pursued an overspeeding vehicle and, upon pulling over the driver, were met with a man hiding his face beneath a cap. When the police insisted he remove the cap, they were met with silence. Intrigued, an officer entered the car and unveiled the driver, who was none other than Ted himself. Pointing his gun at the escapee, the officer uttered, Welcome back, Ted. The apprehension of Ted Bundy was met with a collective sigh of relief, and he was returned to prison. It had been six harrowing days since his escape, and his appearance had changed drastically. Thin and bearded, he flashed a wide, eerie smile. The revelation of Ted's survival tactics in the wilderness and his subsequent capture brought a sense of closure, and the community finally experienced a degree of respite. During his escape, Ted survived by hiding in an abandoned chamber deep within the mountains, where he subsisted on meager rations. When he ventured into town in search of food, he spotted a car with its key inside, providing him with the means to leave the area undetected. Ted was now placed in a more secure cell that resembled a maximum security facility within the prison. It was designed to be escape-proof, with an iron door, a narrow corridor, and a heavily fortified concrete cell, sealed off from the outside world. Ted's behavior became increasingly concerning, he refused to touch the food that had been provided for him, leaving it untouched for three days. As the court date approached, a police officer entered Ted's cell to summon him, but found all the food still uneaten. Searching the cell, the officer discovered only books and a hidden screw. Investigating further, he looked up and spotted a small opening designed for a lamp. Above this opening was a narrow pathway that led to the police officer's rest area. The police quickly realized that Ted had intentionally starved himself to lose weight, allowing him to squeeze through the small opening. Moreover, he had managed to escape with a missing police uniform and hat. The police were left in awe of Ted's extraordinary intelligence and resourcefulness. It was December 1st, just one day before the New Year, and the media broadcasted New Year's greetings while simultaneously delivering the distressing news of Ted Bundy's escape. The people, press, and media were once again confronted with the unsettling reality of the notorious killer's ability to defy even the most secure confinement. 
As the chilling revelation of Ted Bundy's escape continued to haunt the nation, leaving a trail of fear and uncertainty, the authorities and the public were once again plunged into a nightmarish ordeal. The cat and mouse game with the notorious serial killer had reached a new level of intensity, leaving the police baffled by Ted's ingenuity and cunning tactics. Now, with Ted back behind bars, the people could briefly breathe a sigh of relief, but the question lingered. What would happen next in the twisted tale of Ted Bundy? The nation waited with bated breath for the next chapter of this horrifying saga.